Hey folks, what's up? Aaron here, Question Period Canada. How are you today? The Stellantis car plant, right? They're making an EV plant for cars. Government lent $15 billion and now some people are saying that it's going to be employing mostly South Koreans that aren't Canadian nationals at all. So, people want to see the contract. Let's check out who wants to see the contract. There's a list of killers out on the hunt. Top of the list, Pierre Poliev wants to see that contract. Where is it? He's got questions for Trudeau. Possible to believe anything this prime minister says. First, when he gave $15 billion for one battery plant, he said there'd be no foreign workers. It was all a rumor. And then he said it would be one. And then his minister said there'd be a few. Now the company says it will be 900. This is $15 billion, $1,000 in cost for every single family. And now they're giving the money for 900 workers to do foreign workers to do a job that the Canadian Building Trades Union said could be done by our people at a cost of $300 million of lost wages for our union workers. Will the Prime Minister release the contract so we find out how many Canadian tax dollars are going to foreign replacement workers? Okay, Poliev has piqued my interest. I'm curious, I want to see the contract. There's many others that want to see the contract too. Here's an example of something not from the Commons. This is from the Senate. This is Senator Donald Plett. He wants to see the contract too. Wants to know what the Liberals are hiding. Government leader, on November 16th, the Windsor police said 1,600 foreign workers would come here next week for work on the Stellantis battery plant, which is heavily subsidized with $15 billion of Canadian taxpayers' money. Since then, we've heard nothing but confusion from the Trudeau government. One Trudeau cabinet minister said only one foreign replacement worker was involved, one. The next day, another minister said it was a fairly small number. Last Thursday, the company said 900 workers would be coming. In turn, Canada's building trades union called this an insult to workers and taxpayers. Leader, this mess could be cleared up today if the Trudeau government came clean with Canadians for once and released the contracts. Senator Gold, will you do so? The way they asked their questions in the Senate are more refined than the Commons. I will let you know this though, Donald Plett is a fierce Senator. He's one of the most lively ones and he does engage on that Senate floor. We're going to head back to the Commons now. Rick Perkins, an MP from Nova Scotia, who's got an interesting way of asking questions, is looking for that contract, wants to know the details of the Stellantis plant. The Honourable Member from South Shore, St. Margaret's. Notice he didn't say Canadian workers, and on top of that, the Minister of Industry said he's going to hold a meeting with the company to find out from the company what their plans are for the contract he negotiated and signed. I, I can't make this stuff up. He's got to ask the company what's in the contract he negotiated. $15 billion subsidy is going to cost every Canadian family $1,000 in taxes and leave Canadian union workers in the cold. So will they come clean? release the contract if they've got nothing to hide. So it's a pretty direct question. They want to see the contract. I want to see the contract now too, don't you? FPC comes to bat for the Liberals, but he doesn't answer the question, doesn't mention the contract, kind of just dodges it. With a lot of energy and vigor though, he's so deceptive. will be creating 2,500 jobs at the plant, Mr. Speaker. Right. We're going to continue to invest in Windsor. We'll invest in our worker and we'll invest in our auto industry, Mr. Speaker. Right. Little Chihuahua man FPC, who's the Minister of Innovation, got awfully fired up in his attempt to dodge that question. It makes me wonder, can I trust a word that he says? All that energy is just wasted on me. The last clip, the last question we're going to show you comes from Ryan Williams, a very interesting looking MP from Ontario. He wants to know about the contract too. Everybody wants to know about the contract, don't you? 
The Honourable Member from Bay of Quinte. Mr. Speaker, the only thing Liberals are protected are taxpayer-funded foreign jobs. Here's what could have happened. We could have ensured, and Liberals could have ensured, we mine the material for batteries in Canadian mines with Canadian workers. We're not. We could have ensured that the parts for the cars were made by Canadian workers and Canadian factories. That's we're right. not. These could have been 100 percent Canadian jobs. They're not. Instead, Canadians are paying $1,000 a household, so Canadian contractors can lose $300 million and get ripped off. Why won't they release the contract? Is it because it should have been ripped up? Yeah! All right, guys, finally, all these questions about the Stellantis plant, Trudeau's gonna have an answer for us. Do you think he's gonna show us a contract? Who knows? Honorable Prime Minister. Again, Mr. Speaker, I'm gonna have to uh, correct the facts uh, in this House of Commons, yes, given uh, what the Leader of the Opposition continues to say. 2,300 local Canadian construction jobs and 2,500 permanent Canadian jobs when the Stellantis plant is completed. That's right. There'll be 3,000 jobs in the region when the North Bolt plant in Quebec is completed. Uh, you'd think the Leader of the Opposition would support those, but he doesn't. No, His he uncontrollable doesn't. urge to make everything a partisan issue means he's not supporting the investments that are going to help in Windsor, in St. Thomas, uh, in Quebec, or elsewhere across the country. He wants cuts. We want investments in the future of Canadians. There goes Trudeau again, changing the facts on the Parliament floor. He does that every time he gets asked a difficult question or somebody's really challenging him. We just want to see the Stellantis contract between the Liberals and that company. Why can't we see it? Is there something to hide? Okay guys, we'll send you off on this. It's Trudeau again, after he was asked a question by Poliev about food banks, and he goes off on the breadbasket of the world, saying it's the greatest thing and Canadians have to support that cause before our own. Pretty crazy, pretty ridiculous. Enjoy, thank you very much for watching. I'm Aaron, Question Period Canada. Like, subscribe, catch you tomorrow. Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, if the Leader of the Opposition actually cared about Canadians being able to afford their food, uh, they wouldn't have dragged their heels uh, on the passage of C-56 uh, that is increasing competition in the grocery sector. Uh, but indeed, Mr. Speaker, there are a lot of factors that, uh, that deliver higher food prices, uh, not just for Canadians, for people around the world. And one of the key ones is Russia's continued illegal invasion of Ukraine, Mr. Speaker. On this side of the House, a week can affirm clearly that we will stand with Ukraine with everything necessary for as long as necessary. As we saw last week, no conservative politician can say the same.